as software engineers, we aspire to become as productive as we can so that we can get the most done in the least amount of time. Productivity can be largely divided into two types, short-term and long-term. While there's so much conversation about long-term productivity, the likes of planning, scheduling, organization, task decomposition, and time blocking, there isn't much information in regards to short-term productivity. As software engineers, short-term productivity is as important, if not more important than long-term productivity. Because if you think of it, the actual work, coding, designing, or whatever that may be, gets done in blocks of few hours every single day. This is when you need to have a clear mind and a natural rhythm, where your knowledge, motivations, and concentration all perfectly align. In the world of productivity systems, this is called the flow state. And in this video, I will explain briefly what flow state is, how to get into a flow state every single day, and how it can massively accelerate your overall productivity as a software engineer. Hi guys, my name is Utsav. I'm a software engineer based in Seattle, Washington, and this channel is all about helping you excel in your software engineering careers. So if you're into that, please consider subscribing to this channel. As usual, everything I talk about in this video and any related material will be linked in the description below. This video also has timestamps, so feel free to jump to sections that interest you more. With that said, let's get started. Many of you have probably experienced flow state at some point. It is the sense of fluidity where you are totally absorbed by and deeply focused on something beyond the point of distraction. Time feels like it has slowed down, your senses are heightened, and you're completely immersed in the task at hand with seemingly effortless momentum. Some people refer to this as being in the zone. Flow state was popularized by positive psychologists Dr. Mihaly and Jian Nakamura, which they describe as a strong sense of focus that leads to a sense of ecstasy and clarity where you know exactly what you want to do from one moment to other. It is the highest level of short-term focus that very high-performing individuals like mountain climbers, chess players, surgeons, and ballet dancers have. Flow state is equally important when programming, as we often maintain a lot of details in our mind at any given time. For example, what code path is the data flow taking? What values do the variables hold? How are they changing as the code path progresses? Uh, where are the breakpoints? How does the data structure, say a tree, visually look like at any given moment? Where exactly in the recursion stack are you? What does the overall design look like? Sure, there are IDEs and tools to help you track all that, but the most effective and productive software engineers can juggle this information in their short-term memory, creating a deep level of immersion or flow state that makes them incredibly productive. But as amazing as this flow state is, it is also all too easy to break out of with very simple distractions, which can completely kill the flow state. I'm sure you've all experienced times when you're in the middle of debugging something and you've got 17 things juggling in your mind and you're about to figure out the issue and someone comes and asks you a question and then you have to start all over again because you've lost the state you were in. Well, that's what distractions do. There are five things you can do to ensure you set yourself up for success when it comes to being in a flow state. It's been proven by research that to reach flow state, you must eliminate all external distractions. Every time you get pulled out of your focus, you'll be taken further away from the flow state. Only when you can focus with undivided attention for at least a quarter of an hour, you can get into flow state. A Georgia Tech study showed that on average, a programmer gets only one uninterrupted two hour block of time per day. And it takes a quarter of an hour to restart coding after every interruption. In addition to that, a study in flow theory and self-regulation theory found that we face an average of 87 interruptions per day. Also, a study published by Gallup about office distractions found that people on average were only able to spend about three minutes on a given task before being interrupted in some form. So if you want to get into flow state, you must ensure that you remove your external distractions. But besides just eliminating external distractions, you will also need to eliminate internal distractions. Whenever you experience stress or have too much on your mind, it will be incredibly hard for you to focus on the task at hand, and therefore it will be impossible to reach flow state. So get rid of the distractions of chat, notifications, social media updates, and whatever it is that gives you quick dopamine hits. 
Even with apps that help you improve your productivity, like the calendar, for example, there is a balance between using those tools to help you get the job done versus overutilization that can create a lot of noise. This balance is different for everyone, so you'll need to find what works for you. I've already mentioned task decomposition in an earlier video where I mostly talk about long-term developer productivity, so please check that one out if you haven't already. But the gist of it is that if a task isn't 100% clear, decomposed, and ready to code out, it isn't specific enough for you to work on a flow state. When it's not exactly clear what you're supposed to work on, you'll either switch between different tasks too quickly or get distracted much easily. Both will prevent you from getting into your flow state. To prevent myself from needlessly switching between various tasks, aside from having the task well decomposed, I also make sure to track exactly where I spend every minute of my working day so that I can get a clear picture of how and where I spend my time. That way I can improve my processes. One app I've recently started using that helps me do this incredibly well is Rise, who have also kindly sponsored this video. Rise is an intelligent time tracker that improves your focus and helps you build better work habits. Rise automatically tracks and categorizes your work activity in real time and gives you a daily score and in-depth personalized metrics. I use these metrics to understand how and where I spend my time, at what times I'm most focused and what types of activities tend to distract me the most. And I use that knowledge to improve my productivity system. Rise also has built-in break notifications as well as a break timer, which helps you use it alongside techniques like Pomodoro. This promotes healthier work habits and can help prevent burnout. Rise is available on macOS and on Windows. So if you value your time and want to improve your software engineering as well as overall productivity, I think you will find a lot of value in using Rise to track your time. The first 1000 of my subscribers to visit the link in the description below and use the code engineering Utsav will get 25% off their first three months. Additionally, Rise also provides a 14 day free trial so that you can test it out before committing to it. If you want A-grade productivity, you will need to bring your A-game as well. So don't attempt to get into a flow state when you are sleep deprived, lacking energy or badly hungover. Getting into a flow state is hard if you have low energy. You need to have the willpower to focus on just one thing and not get distracted along the way. So make sure you are sharp and energized. And we all have our own biological clocks. Some of us are morning people while the rest of us like to stay up late. Only you will know when you are of the highest energy. So pick that time to work on your coding tasks. Try to block off your calendar during these couple of hours or however much your job allows you to do to ensure that you work on your most critical tasks during this time without any distractions or interruptions. Take a look at this diagram. In order to reach flow state, you will need to be happy, confident, alert, and focused. Having a well-defined task gives you the confidence in your ability to complete it. Working on an exciting feature keeps you happy. The right amount of challenge keeps you alert and getting rid of distractions results in you being focused. And these are essentially the ingredients for getting into flow state. But as I mentioned before, work doesn't come in a form that allows you to be happy, confident, alert, and focused. It's often ambiguous, vague, too challenging, too boring, unmotivating, all sorts of things. And it is up to you to break it down and do all the necessary legwork to transform it into something that allows you to get into a flow state. Consider being fit, for example. If your goal is to participate in a triathlon next year, that goal in itself is too vague and too challenging to work on. You will need to break it down to simple components. Then perhaps gamify each task by tracking your progress, competing with friends, or giving yourself timely rewards so that each subtask is exciting enough. After that, you will need to ensure you work on this in your peak biological time so that you do your best to remove internal and external distractions when you work on it. Only then will you give yourself the best opportunity to get into a flow state which in turn not only improves your odds of getting that task done but also keeps you happy and fulfilled with what you're doing. Well, hopefully this gave you a good idea about what flow state is and the steps you can take to get into it. Let me know in the comments below if you have experienced flow state before and how often do you get interrupted at work and how do you make time to complete high priority tasks. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to this channel for more software engineering content. Also, follow me on Instagram at Engineering with Utsab, where I host monthly Q&As and answer all your direct messages. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Thank you.